everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to the Granvir demo. It is a, it's a mecha. I'd actually say it's almost kind of mech warrior adjacent, uh, but it's a mecha roguelike, which sounds interesting, so we'll see how it goes. So campaign select, looks like we're going to have a couple of them later. Millennium Horizon, a foreign military force identifying itself as the Millennium Company, has been detected on the surface of inheritance. They've seized control of industrial facilities across the region and have begun constructing defensive fortifications. Breach their lines with the help of the local resistance and destroy their terrestrial command center. Sure. And then we can either be a hero or a mercenary. So reputation marketplace 200. Collects double credits from bounties and side objectives. One marked supply pod and one unmarked supply pod are hidden in each mission field. Let's go for Merc. Oh, they're locked. Never mind. One unmarked supply pod. Okay, and we're just going to be playing on normal because I'm bad at mechs. Oh. So let's just go over here. I don't know how long any of these take. Okay, deploying ends current rest session. All items in the depot are left behind. That's fine. I don't think I care too deeply about any of those. Let's take a look. So we want to liberate a village. Reach extraction. So extraction is the star, but let's go to... Kind of the left, maybe? I've got some random things marked. So there was loot here. Oh, it's this. Ultra polymer. No idea. Yeah, supposedly there are supply drops around that I can find. I understand the black is the fog of war here, but it is maybe a little too dark. I wish it was kind of more of like a blue atmosphere case. Okay, he's dead. Yeah, we're just going to kind of keep our distance and shell him from afar. Well, I say keep our distance, but it really depends on the foe. Okay, so I do have a jump and I do have a dash. We're going to want to use both of those. Raindrop torso. I mean, let's grab all of those. Eventually, we're going to have to give up on a handful of these. That's fine. It looks like we have some amount of ammo. Okay, got him dead. Oop. Awkward. Rolf and I don't have ammo for that. How are we doing it HP-wise? Uh, did I disarm him? I did. There we go. Supply pod. Not doing a very good job here. So we've got a book die. Heavy torso. I think I'll be a heavy weapons guy. And a better reactor. Can I use this? Oh, no, we're using heavy weapons right now. So we'll snag both of those. I don't know what... Ah, Ultra Polymer is also good healing. Oh, let's get rid of the uh, scrap metal. And it looks like we've liberated, liberated the village. Didn't take too much damage. Another raindrop. Component crate. Unpacked at depot. I don't know. Let's let's try the component crate over the raindrop. And no amount of ammo is really going to help me here. Because I believe both of these guns use the same one. I might want to switch that up for the future, though. Okay, so I do have a dash. Because there is a potential world where... Uh, Let's see, There, there's kind of a potential world, well, world where I run out of ammo because I've used the same type and I can't reload. But if I alternate, maybe it isn't so bad. A 
Yeah, I thought so. I'm not seeing anything else, but there's one more crate that I might as well snag while we're here. Okay, so what are you? So a squall, mounted cannon, high fire rate, and then courier. Fires inaccurate shots, though. Heavy ballistic weapon. Damage output 168. I wish I could actually see. Check my inventory attack, st attack style. No idea. If I check controls, okay, fire, reload, R, and then 1. We also have strafe. There's a kick. Kind of. Yeah, we might want an ammo crate. If I fire that one and reload, does it... It takes a while. Okay, so we don't lose any ammo. Yeah, so some extra storage capacity would have made sense, but whatever. Okay, so what can we get? Higher heat capacity, hailstorm handgun, or courier legs. Let's go for the reactor, I think. Okay, so let's modify Granvir. Oh. Never mind. Okay, mechanic. Modify parts. Oh. Exchange credits to modify certain Granvir parts with new functionality. They'll be automatically installed. Could also repair. Can tune up for that extra heat. I don't know how necessary that was. So let's take a look at our inventory. Because we did get some things. So armor hull visibility range. Arm joints. That's a lot of armor. But maybe the Grenheiser isn't terrible. Oh, we got the strike. I think we go for modifying. Okay, so groundskeeper. Okay, so... Way less armor. Medium weight torso, two cannon points. Sturdy but ill-armored generally considered unfit for combat. So do we want a ton of armor? Let's see which one looks cooler. I do actually like the head of the Bakdai. Also kind of depends on our legs. So they're slow. Top dash, speed, short, 75 heat. So reloads, oh, road speed. Yeah, so the courier, courier legs are better. Not by much. That's fine. Ammo inefficient and slow reload. Ah, we don't have any auxiliary points. We also have either the twinkle or the strike. Weak but functional heat capacity or heat capacity for faster cooling. Probably go Twinkle. Let's finish for now. Oh, can be revisited at the same time later for no cost. That's actually great. Okay. Illegal parts and munitions. Purchasing an item requires two hours. Visiting a black market increases your threat level in the next zone. I see. So might not want to do that. Ah, so hire a broker for 20,000 credits and improve the ease of accessing marketplace vendors. Reduces vendor costs by one hour for the remainder of the campaign. That's not a bad idea. Okay, let's also take a look. First check in. Still alive? Yep. Good. Millennium Company. Regional activity is rising after your last mission. Loot what you, loot what you can while you can. You only encounter more resistance from here. 
Uh, let's see. Thanks for the tip. I'll check it out. Okay. So what else do we do? Inventory is kind of full. Oh, we need ammo. Outskirts. Lay low. Lay reduces current threat level. We are going to need munitions. Because I don't think we're damaged anymore. Okay, so let's do munitions. Okay, what else do we have? So there's a lance, there's a buckler, hailstorm, and some other things. Oh. I could have actually sold all the metals in that first region. Okay. Did I not buy? I guess I didn't buy that broker. In the end. Oh well. Um. So we could do salvage. I could provide aid. Tune up his melee damage. It reduces our current threat level. Ah. I think that's fine. Yeah, do we want to just do three salvage and then see what I can sell? Because if I go back to the munition vendor, it looks like it can sell things as much as I want. Found an ultra polymer. A squall and ceramic plates. So let's check our inventory. Inaccurate stuff, armor, armor, some other things. Let's transfer some of these to the cargo hold, because I might be able to sell them in the marketplace. Yep. I'm going to keep the stock metals, though. And we can scrap... Oh. Okay, so we can't scrap those. Those are caps. Okay. I don't think we care about any of the rest of these. So we're just on our own. Uh, deploy. Okay, so where are we going? Canyons. Mechanic part broker. I see. So different locations have different options. Trigger lands landslide as well. Yes, yeah, let's go here. Let's see. So I, I do have plenty of ammo. Inventory, stock metals. Oh, did I just refill the one gun? Kind of looked like he was getting shot. From elsewhere. Okay, I see an enemy over here. Okay. Reload. Because it costs me nothing. I don't want to be out of juice. Okay, so we have destroy the checkpoint, liberate the village. Okay. And I want to be reasonably particular with my shots. Okay, escalation's up to two. Combat knife, armature. I'll just snag both of those. I probably don't care about any of them. Can I jump? I can actually jump reasonably well, surprisingly. So that just had some scrap. So these are the supply drops. 
shoulder cannon. Okay. Yeah, let's let's just go around this checkpoint, see if we have anything else. Because attacking from the back isn't a terrible idea. There's something, something or someone in there with the long range shots. I might actually get them to be able to destroy the checkpoint for me. Because they currently don't have the range. He ain't dead yet. And then it's just this guy. Who's easy enough to fight. Alright, we're good. And my secondary gun is running out of juice. I'll have to be more careful about that in the future. No idea what that was, but uh, something to keep in mind. as we meet him on the field. <laughs> there it goes. Okay, so what does what do they have? Side story. Uh, it's loaded into the right cannon. A weapon crate. Get rid of that. I think we don't want most of these. They don't really need the arms. Yeah, it's a melee lightweight. I'm assuming it's for punching things. We're not really going for melee. Ooh, welter. T2 legs. Big. And that's some ammo. Ah, do we want... Ammo efficient, high, high fire rate. Great ammo efficiency. Both, both of those are pretty good. The weapon crate is slightly tempting. I think I'll bring it with. Okay, we gotta go destroy that checkpoint. Hopefully there's like an accessory or something. Okay, this is... Wait. That's silly. Alright. Did not work. I don't think I'm actually hitting anything there. I guess it has to be these towers. I need a better gun for this. Okay, there we go. So just this last tower. Wait, here's the question. I mean, when in doubt, it's not that it does that much worse damage than my gun. All right, and we've got a little bit over on the other side. I gotta be careful about this. I don't exactly have the funds for, or did that hit me? I think it did, ouch. Is it you? There he goes. Haven't taken too much damage yet. Threat level's kind of bad. Oh, 
Okay, we had this secondary base here. Okay, looks like we're good. Component, another Belladine, nothing. Mostly curious. What about these red boxes? Are they just crates? Yeah, they're just crates. And then there's the impossibly deep pit. I bet if I went in there, I would just die. So let's not. I think in the future, especially if my inventory is full and... If my inventory is full and my objectives are done, I think we just head for the exit. Yeah, they're just flying over. Not much I can do about it. I'm assuming the higher my threat level and escalation, the more likely they are to start hitting me with, like, long-range artillery and planes and stuff. Which is not great. Okay, so what do we want to do? Inventory-wise, we're going to want to modify. We get a long spear, and we get another side story. And, like, we could bring some of these with me, but I'm not keen on that. Marketplace. So there's a weapons vendor, a porter. Ah, so we can store stuff there if we want to. That's actually not terrible. Let's go to the weapons vendor though. What I want to see is, can I sell? I cannot sell my stuff. I also don't sell any uh, tier things. So what is this? Rapidly fires lighter projectiles with a small explosive blast. Requires, uh, fires without reloading. Heavy ballistic ammunition. Medium ballistic ammunition. Ammo efficiency is good, damage is good. Tempting is expensive. It looks like I can't do it. It's grayed out. So that's why I haven't been able to. Large size external cargo container that can be installed on a shoulder joint. Oh, there's a handheld firearm. Good damage too. Only immediate fear is I don't think I have enough juice for it. I think I could. Purchase the dagger. Modify Granvir. Okay, so we want to get rid of one of these burn marks. What? Inventory. Oh, handheld. Handheld firearm. I need an arm. Well... Okay. Let's see. So I still have some left, but not much. I guess let's just buy the ammo. 94%. That should be fine. Um, oh, we do have the better legs. Modify Granvir. Get rid of the courier legs. We want the welters. Pfft. 
Okay, so if we go back to this, we might as well carry the dagger with us. We're very much set on ammo for now. The rest of these, I wish I could sell them or something. But alas. So I got four hours remaining. I could scrap some of these for a little bit of money. I mean, sure. What else do we have, though? Canyons. Trigger a landslide. Clearing the current threat level and limiting it during the next mission. Sure. Okay, so now we can go to the scrapyard and scrap a couple of these. Because yeah, I'm not going to be using them anyway. I am learning so much for the next time I play this. Alright, so let's check our inventory quick. Oh, where did I get the... where did I get some of these? I guess it was from doing the canyon stuff. Back to the market, munitions, like... Might as well sell them. I know we're going to be a little injured going into this one. I'm hoping it'll be fine. We do have the anti-air batteries, which is... Yeah, I might be pushing my luck here. I'll keep it in mind that I need to get some armor. Browser replay, repay loans. Well, I don't feel like taking loans or anything like that, so... Sure, let's deploy. Do we want to go here? Yeah, let's find out. And it looks to some degree... Oh, it's the escalation, though. So the longer I'm playing for, the more dangerous this is, this is going to be. Okay, so these are civilian mechs. We don't want to kill them. Okay, there's one of them. So it looks like destroy all anti-air. And destroy a checkpoint. Still wish I knew what attack style did. Does? There he goes. I'm pretty sure this pillbox is going to start shooting at me. There he goes. Now are these towers. That one is. They don't present too much of a threat. There you go. Oh, I guess once they start glowing like that, they're out for the count. All right, this one doesn't have enemies in it. How's my HP doing? It's doing fine. Oh, good. Bigger leg means better kick. Okay, we've got this guy who seems to be just a punch mech. Which, uh... Yeah, I can work with that. There we go. That should be the extent of the checkpoint, and it's big money. I'm curious about playing the Merc. I think I'd like the uh, the Merc start for the future, just because you get extra bounty credits. Okay. Now, do we see any nasties in this area? Because if we don't, and this thing doesn't fight back.
I mean, when in doubt, kick, yeah? So we have, okay, it seems like this entire area loops around. Not seeing too many enemies, probably at least in parts. Because I reduced that threat level. I don't know if that hit me. But that is something to be afraid of. I think I'd go for better cooling on my chips rather than capacity in the future. Right now it's fine, but I bet I'd be boosting a little bit more often. Ooh. Am I stupid enough to try and jump this? No. It is a little unfortunate that I have to walk around, but whatever. I'm digging this. It's kind of fun. I I should go back and play Mech Warrior 5 someday. They've been adding a bunch of DLC, and I know you can play it multiplayer and some other stuff. But I don't know. I I feel like mech RPGs are still wildly underserved on the market. Uh you know the the character customization and all the different options and whatnot. Like there's some really good ones out there, but they never quite work for a variety of reasons. Um, I'm thinking, oh, what's a good example? There's, well, there's Mech Warrior, which is good, but grindy. There was the Battletech, uh, like tactical RPG made by Hairbrain Schemes. That was good. Oof. Okay, so those don't do damage to me normally. Bad mojo to have to reload in the middle of this. But that's okay. Yeah, where did that one guy come from? Is the reinforcements. At least their accuracy is kind of bad, which is good for me. And you can kind of tell when they're going to be attacking. Hello, sir. Okay, so if they've got an arm, I cannot go up for a kick. So we might want to swap some of our parts after this just to heal up. Hopefully we'll get some T2 bits. Okay, there's one more enemy. Okay, the ideal here... is I take out his arm, but instead I killed him. I'll take it. I mean, might as well loot the whole damn place, yeah? Okay, last anti-air batteries over there. There he goes. Okay, I'm getting better at killing these guys. I'm getting a lot of money. Unfortunately, threat level 2 is when they start dropping the airstrikes, which is not the best. Okay, so we can't actually combine those. Let's get rid of the lance. And do we have porter legs? I kind of like my current legs.
but they probably sell for more. Or I can scrap them. Yeah, I can bring them to the scrapyard for a bigger payout. So probably worth it. Yeah, we'll have to repair. But I could have actually shot this sucker from across the ravine, maybe. Maybe not. No. It would not have been visible. <laughs> I, it's just so satisfying. Whoops. I don't think they got me. I gotta be careful about that. We also haven't found an arm yet, which is a bit of a downer. Because an arm so I could actually hold the pistol would be kind of lovely. Let's see. Now, did I find any of my supply drops? I don't think I did. They're supposed to be marked on the map, but I'm not seeing them. So they might actually be over here on the other side. Is it worth going out of my way for it? Yeah. And like big plus, I do actually have a lot of money here. which will make this much, much easier. That hurt. I was not expecting to get um, exploded, but that's fine. Put the ammo on that. We got a rhyme bar. Sixty percent hull. Are you kidding me? Okay, so we're at max threat level, which is really bad for me. Uh, you know what? Actually, that ammo isn't very good. Let's go for that, and let's get out of here before I freaking die. Should not have done that. There they go. Fortunately, there's no money to be gained from killing a pillbox. I don't think... Well, I don't know. We'll have to see if this is worth it. I'm pretty beat up. I think in the future, it's probably more practical for me to put a couple of things on the porter and only modify my mech, like, once every other round, maybe. Damn, there's a lot of pillboxes all over the place. But, uh, yeah. Ouch. Okay, so what do we want? Heat sink, medium capacity, cooling block, low cooling rate, or mounted cannon. Ammo efficient, rapid reload, high fire rate, inaccurate shots. Ooh. Still uses heavy weapons. And is T1. Let's go for the T2. Okay, so mechanic, repair parts. Tempting. 
marketplace. Recruit broker. Ah, so we can recruit. No, we still cannot. Yeah, because we haven't found carrying capital. Unless it is take a loan. I think we're going to take a loan. We're going to take two. Because I think I need to get... Capital. So we have a new torso. Two cannon ports, heavy armoring. Okay, close out of that. Let's check, take a look at this. There we are. Okay, modify the Granvir. Swap up the bulk die for this. Transfer inventory parts. Okay, so we can give one of these the cannon. Or the arm. That's one hell of a silly arm looking thing. Okay, so we have a hind port. And we have the pistol. <laughs> what a goofy looking dude. Okay, so here's the question. Ammo inefficient versus slow reload. Finish that for now. Because, yeah, there's the Claymore, but we ain't doing that. Let's unpack these while we're here. Ring blade. Short melee weapon. Eh. Oh. So I can actually just use those. And a better reactor. So let's modify Granvir again. There we go. Okay, that's much better. Let's see. So what else do we have? Might as well lay low. Clear the current threat level. Back to marketplace. Yeah, I don't think I care too deeply about any of these. So, main question is inventory. So we need more heavy... heavy uh, more heavy ammo, more medium ammo. Oh, and it does... I see. Okay, so that's pretty much all of my money, but we're loaded. We don't want to carry any of these with me at this point. Because, yeah, there's the porter legs, which are fast... But not as durable. So scrapyard premium salvage. Selection of low quality component system. Wait, how's this work? Oh. Low quality components to salvage. Scrapyard always contains one of each major component type. Not entirely sure what that means. But at the very least, we can scrap some of these for a big payout. I think that's all of it. We're maybe a little damaged, but I think it's fine. Do we go to the farmlands? I think so. We kind of have to boogie a little bit. Okay, so there's Death Grip, Ground Breaker Hub, and that. I'm pretty sure the Anti-Air Squadron is dead. We broke that. I wish it would be marked off, maybe. There's that there for a resistance cell. Two twenty-five. Yeah, see, I think we kind of have to boogie. We could also just oh, part enhancer. That might be interesting. I don't have anything else to do. <laughs> I look so dumb. I'm also very slow. 
which is a bit of an issue. I think we might be hitting kind of a weight capacity here. Okay, so we have some villages to liberate. On the plus side, I have the boosts. And I can get at least somewhat of a um, momentum bonus for it. Hurts a bit. But it had goodies for me. Okay, we do have to worry about our heat a little bit, but at least we don't have to worry about our ammo. As much. Fortunately, I think I went the wrong direction. Because I should have gone the other way. Okay. Pistol seems to have plenty of ammo. I mean, both of my weapons currently do. So that puts me in a somewhat nice, nice spot. Okay, don't want to overheat. Not actually sure what overheating is going to do to me here. I almost kind of wish I could get some tank, tank treads. Slow, steady, nice and even, very punchy. Yeah, I should have gone this way first, because star is where we leave. God, this map is huge. Okay, so the pistol aims up a smidge. So I gotta keep that in mind as well. Okay. Can I jump? I can still jump. It's just super not worth it. It looks like I'm mostly getting ultra polymers from this. But maybe that's fine. Oh, my inventory is full of scrap metal. I think it's all scrap metal. All the way down. Yep. Alright. No, keep that in mind. Uh, no, that's that's one of theirs. Ooh. Eerie hole with nothing at the bottom. Uh, let's see. Nope. There we go. I might not be able to go this way. I think I will. I think I can do this. Just don't fall in the pit. I think my only complaint with this game really is going to be, I don't like the fog of war. You can kind of see stuff in the distance, but... It's so dark. Like, if, it, if there was an atmospheric haze, or... This pistol's pretty good. If there's an atmospheric haze to it instead, where you can kind of see a lot of the scenery, but you can't see any of the, any of the mecha, that'd be one thing. Um, or just, I don't know. I think the point is it's supposed to be murky so that you can't see where your enemies are, which I guess makes sense. Get wrecked, loser. Ooh, and that's the T2 part right here. Okay. I really like this handgun. It's got a much bigger clip to work with 
it'd be interesting to go like fast and stabby and that actually feels kind of doable but I I'm not sure if I do well with it I'd probably get wrecked probably reload my pistol as well yeah, being able to hold 12 shots on this thing and having it being able to actually shoot a bunch is um, a boon. The only problem is it's not as accurate. Okay, so we're up to Bombardment. I thought we were already at Bombardment. I suppose not. Okay. Better radar. Better component crate. Better reactor, maybe. Maybe. Another radar. Don't know if I care. Medium ammo? Absolutely. Nope. Can't get over that. And that's our two storage things. We might also want to consider getting our hands on one ceramic plating for the free repair. But it's a... I don't know, it's hard to say. I'm just kind of along for the ride here. Okay, Feather Lance and a Cooling Block. Cooling Block. Hope we don't have another enemy in this mix. Okay, we do have bad badniks hiding kind of in these this forest of cooling towers or whatever you want to call them. Okay, supply pod reserve. It's okay. And Hornet's Nest. Lock on missiles. Cooler than that. Alright. Let's get out of here. Yeah, some kind of loot crate would go kind of the distance here, but... You know, just a big backpack to chuck on this thing. But I guess we will have to wait for that for later. Maybe. It seems like the higher tier parts have more ports and, like, auxiliary junk that I can kind of work with. That's a very dramatic explosion. Okay. Last group. I don't see their mech yet. There you are. There he goes. Haven't taken too much damage. And it seems like we're pretty reliably getting green items now. And Tealus. I don't know. What is this? Ah, Rocket is an agile platform. Top speed 800. I don't know if it's better than my legs, but a rocket-assisted dash sounds, um, kind of good, actually. Yeah, there's way less ammo wasted. Part of it is splitting between two different weapon types is going to make things slightly more effective, because when I get a random ammo drop, it might actually be one for one of the weapons I'm using. Okay. T yeah, we might as well go for the bell tower. I love the idea of the spear someday. 
Uh, well, we might as well start by modifying the Grand Veer. Oh, these legs. So... Yeah, we might as well have that. Those legs are pretty damaged anyway. It's a heat sink. So the heat sink just lets me have a higher heat capacity. There's also the cooling block. Cooling rate 200. Oh, wait. Eh, that's, that's okay. Let's go for the radar. Swap out the burn mark for the bell tower. Turtle's fine. Swift strike. Yeah, lower heat capacity, faster cooling. Okay, let's finish that for the time being. Let's go back to the marketplace. Repay loans. Now, did that boost my reputation with carrying capital? It did. So now we can recruit a broker, if we want. I think so. Because now I... Now this is at least a little cheaper for me. Mantis arm. And then if I check my inventory, how are we doing on ammo? We're actually doing kind of fine. Repair hull, repair armor. Might as well do, it seems to do both. Okay, scrapyard could lay low. Modify, modify parts. So what does this do? Ah, boost jets maintain altitude while in the air. Single shoulder mount and heavier armoring. Two heavy cannon ports and two auxiliary cam cannon ports. Oh. Two cannon ports, a single shoulder mount. Okay, what's in my inventory? Because, yeah, we have the hornet, hornet's nest. Shoulder. Heavy ballistic ammunition, but it might still be worth it. Maybe. Yeah, we also have tune up for extra cooling. That's fine. Didn't need it that bad. Uh, let's see. And I don't have, yeah, I don't have much money. I like the idea of modifying the parts. Because that's got jump jets, but we don't want that. Wait, are the auxiliary cannon ports? No. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay, modify Granvir. You now get the hornet's nest. Go to the scrapyard, scrap some parts. Because yeah, we've got the welter legs. I mean, we've got all of this stuff. Let's leave the burn mark. But I think we want to do marketplace munitions vendor. Inventory. Okay, so we've actually split our ammo. So if we go back to the munitions vendor, we need heavy ballistic ammo purchase. Okay. Do we do one more? I think so. I think we'll do exactly one more mission. I want to go fight their ace. And then I think we'll call it here. I'm digging this. I think this is a really neat roguelike, and it has a lot of potential. Uh, I think s some of my problem is that I wish I could go a little faster, and part of it is, yes, I do have... Wait, if I check controls... Hornet's Nest. Okay. So there's a side button on my mouse.
Okay, that was not the ace. Picked up a bunch of scrap metal from them too, which is kind of nice. And old firearm, grab the slug. I mean, might as well grab both. Yeah, provoke the ace. So I guess we just have to do three of these or something. I didn't actually look at the bell tower's efficiency. Oh well. Okay, we have a Mantis and a Wraith. Looks like we're up to T3 equipment now. Anything else? No. Okay, so we've liberated one village. We've got to go liberate the other, and then we've got to go provoke the ace. There we go. This launcher seems fun. Oh, that's the rocket boosters. I think I'm gonna go into the options. Probably should have done this a long time ago. Never mind. There is no way to turn down sound effects. That that's something I would like to see. Here's the question. Does that fire all of my missiles? No, it just fires six. Okay, so we're up to Bombardment. I don't know what the muzzle breaker is. Arm. Light cannon array instead of a grasper. I see. I mean, might as well. I was going to ask why did the... Oh, let's see, why do my enemies keep airstriking themselves? But I don't think they are. I think that's because I got rid of that uh, anti-air base that we're actually getting air support periodically now. Another oh, ring blade. It does feel like going for a, a quick stabby dude could actually be really cool with this game. I'm not going to do it, but it would be cool. Do we want to just drop the side story? Sure. And hunters. Unless the ace is the hunter. And this is not a aggressive checkpoint. Doesn't look like it is. Back off for a bit. There's one. Ooh, this new cannon. Kind of slaps? That's so much damage. Oh. Well, that was easy. I got very lucky that death grip is melee only. And I could just pump endless shots into his face. What did he drop for me? Heavy armature, additional armor, and a powerful punch. Neat. Not really useful for me, but neat. Yeah, this this slaps. It very much is the roguelike for uh, anybody who would consider themselves like a big mech warrior fan. Damn, that cannon just crossing the distance and ruining it. There's 
one. There goes two. With the controls to reload the bell tower. Oh, I guess it's just R again? Maybe it just only is a single shot. That actually would make a lot of sense here. Considering how much damage it does. Well, I don't mind. Okay, they got a hunter, light ballistic ammo, scrap metal. What is the hunter? Eh, it's fine. I mean, the thing is, pretty happy with what I've got. Like, unless I want to swap the ring blade for a component crate. I think we actually do that. We do also have scrap metal, but we've barely taken damage. So, I think we're good. Yeah, now, now that I have two weapons instead of one, and neither of... Uh, I think actually both of them are kind of ammo efficient. It's not super bad for me anymore. The beginning of this was rough just because we had garbage weapons, but there is a very, very solid feeling of, like, character progression over the course of a run. Ah, screw it. Let's just... Long video. Let's Let's just finish it. I'm I'm having too much fun with this. I know we did just pick up some melee weapons. I could pivot right now to it, but nah. I'll be a run for another day. Okay, so what do we want? Ooh, supernova reactor. Hi. Eh, it's okay. Go for the destroyer. Okay. So what do we want to do? Marketplace. So we can take a look at all of them. Yeah, it only carries one. Extra visibility range, but not much. Okay. How much ammo do we have? Could probably use a good 50. Do a split. Could also just put in the depot, but whatever. I might want to lay low. My current threat level is going up. Uh, let's see. What is resistance? Resupply. Tune up. Reload. Speed. Heat, heat capacity. Cooling. Invisibility. Or diversion. That's actually amazing. But we'll get to it in a second. What about component vendor? Now, pretty happy with what I've got. What about mechanic? Modify parts. Nope. I guess we want to modify the Grand Veer. Transfer inventory parts. Go here. Grab the destroyer. It says two auxiliary cannon ports. Maybe. Oh, no, they're just built in. So we'd lose the missile launcher, but maybe that's fine. Okay, so I can do the... Oh, the muzzle breaker just comes with its own gun. Actually, that might be fine. Ammo efficiency, 480. Magazine, 50. I wish it said for the damage output. It says 200, but... That's not actually the case. So we do also have the Brewer arm. Okay, so which is better? I think the Brewer is. Yeah, it's lightweight, quick attacks, powerful melee. Yeah, so do we just live without the uh, missile launcher? I think so. And we also have, like, the Mantis. Which seems like it could be really fun, but awkward for what I'm doing. Okay. Massive handheld firearm that can only be held in one hand by stronger armatures or is medium ballistic ammunition. Oh, okay. I think I might have to do that. That just seems fun. The dagger is good. Don't get me wrong. But the slug... We might want to pay to keep the dagger. Nah, we don't want to pay to keep the dagger. That's silly. Modify parts.
Oh yeah, let's also unpack that. Ooh, lightning strike reactor. Oh, that's that's a good one. So can we not modify the destroyer? TSB BSOV. So modify modify parts. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Dang shame. Okay, what about marketplace component vendor? I think we looked at all of these and it wasn't anything. So why don't we why don't we pay to keep the I'm gonna pay to keep the dagger just in case. Because it'd be pretty sad if we lost that. Oh, you know what? Let's also pay to keep the missile launcher. Okay, munitions vendor. Or which which ones are we low on? Oh, the other question is, is the slug ammo efficient? It doesn't say. I just I wanna try it. Is the main one. Okay. Uh munitions vendor, we want medium ballistic ammo. We don't use light. Okay, 74%, that's all good. Oh, we do use light. Okay, something to keep in mind. So, do we want to lay low? I think so. Okay, so higher ground breakers. Oh, one additional hour for activities. Uh, that actually would have been nice. <laughs> Might as well scrap my torso. We can also do this. So resupply, pick ammo. Well, that's nice of them. So tune up for a boost, diversion. Okay, so we can repair things, but we're pretty good. I don't think we have enough Groundbreaker reputation yet, but that extra hour is gonna be kind of nice. Cause now I can scrap an additional part. And then do a resistance diversion. <clears throat> Too busy with the diversion, fully respond, reduces the max level. Oh, but that's only the next mission. I don't know. I think we actually just go back to the scrapyard and scrap a couple of things just for the money. Okay. Well, shall we? I don't think I have anything else. And I can't go over here, can I? Yeah, it's out of range. I guess what we probably want to do. Well. Huh. It's not crossed off. We killed Death Grip. I don't know. Okay, Manufactorum. Granvir Part. Satellite Array. Cripple Orbital. Oh, we want that. Okay. I think we're doing fine. Okay. Uh, let me check my controls. How do I fire? Dash. Reload. Arm Brewer left primary, left attack. KR1 cannon toggle. Can I rebind them? I guess the main question is auxiliary one. Oh, I see. They're both one and two. Got it. Or... Reload stock. Reload bell tower. I have no idea if they're active or not. All right, well, we want to go this direction. I don't want to take the long way around. I just need to find one enemy that I can potentially try the cannons on. I 
I see. I love them? They're kind of silly. But yeah, they fire only if I'm gen generally in range. And I can use that to kind of ruin things up close. I think I'll want to switch back to my previous pistol. This big chunker is nice, but it doesn't do that much more damage. Yeah, can't get caught out like that. I don't know where all the scrap metal comes from. Probably kills. Which is like, it's good, but I wish I wasn't just picking it up automatically. Yeah, it's not the most ammo efficient, all things considered. Ow. But, I think the light, sh light weapons are worth it. Okay, magic cargo. Better heat. Way good heat sink. These. Grab the heavy ballistic ammo. Might as well carry it around with me. Get rid of that. Alright. Because at least now I can reload my heavy weapon on the fly. Okay. Anyone else? We got a lot of stuff here, though I think almost all of them are just component crates. Okay, so we're up to bombardment. Eat explosives, boyo. Okay. Oh, we're taking some damage here. Just. There's so many of them. Okay, drill lance. We don't care too, too deeply about a drill lance. Unless I want to be, like, obsessive about finding everything. Okay, that's a T1. Uh, better cooling block, though. Okay, and I think we've got one more thing. What is this? It's neat. Might have been a trap. Either way, we're getting out of here. This sucks. This is so bad for me. I guess this is what I get for being kind of a sitting duck trying to go for the loot. That every single every single opportunity I had to avoid taking damage, I took damage. 
Uh, okay, repair parts actually is not that expensive. Hold up. Inventory. We do have some ultra polymer. Pop that now. Wow, that was effective. Unpack the component crate. Grab the grab the heavy ammo. And we didn't really use a whole lot of light ammo there. And a crossfire. Okay. I'm not entirely sure if we want that. Inspect Granvir. Well, that's not helpful. Granvir specs. Here we go. And we have the radar. I don't know if we want that. Modify parts. We have nothing to modify. Hopefully we get some more that let me modify things. Ah. Enhance parts. Cargo capacity of three. Oh. Or we can add like ammo efficient to my guns. Rapid reload on the bell tower. Heavy armor onto the... some of those. Speed boost onto the legs, though. Okay, that's really good. Uh, let's see. Oh, do we not have a porter here? We don't. That's rough. I could also take a loan for some big heels. It's not a bad idea. Oh, and that's pretty much all the damage we had on us. So that's good. Uh, scrapyard. Let's scrap. Oh, do we not have anything to... Ah, I see. Because I don't think we want the supernova. The cooling block is nice, but I don't care that deeply. The crossfire, also nice, but don't care. So let's scrap. Okay, that gives me some money. Groundbreakers. We could hire some more groundbreakers. That's not a bad idea. We could do salvage. We could lay low. I might as well lay low every time we get the option. Okay, so I could have had them do that. Enhance parts. Yeah, I'm just going to put that on. Let's be silly. All right, so I've got six hours left. We don't need to modify our Granvir. We're pretty capped. The only thing I should have done there was actually get some ammo. Got some metal plates. Yeah, unfortunately... Oh... I don't know where this all came from. Uh, yeah, I think I kind of screwed up. I should have bought that ammo. It's fine, probably. Nothing to scrap. So let's salvage. Found some stock metals. Actually, is kind of good, but selling it. It did also have, like, the sunflower. Agile legs built on a set of wheels for enhanced top speed. Ooh. Yeah, some of these actually would have been good. Like the Grave Piercer. Oh, but two-handed firearm. That's good damage, though. I don't know. I probably shouldn't have spent as much money as I did, but I was having a hoot. Yeah, do I do I need to care? Nah. 
let's just let's just head for the Millennium Fortress. Let's just finish this off. There's no real reason for me to stick around. The T3 loot would be nice. Is like the one trade-off that I'm losing here. Okay. So I think we want to head this direction. Okay. I'll just do the ping. I don't I don't know if that ping is worth it. I'm not even sure if that ping does anything. Okay, snag both of those. Okay, man with sword. No, no man with sword. All right. And there's the other loot drop. And then big stompy man. Some good stuff. We still have some ammo in our other weapons, and the bell tower is currently holding just fine. I just want to clip him in the face. There's a just a regular dude there. Or a tower. I don't want to be there when that pops. We still haven't liberated the village, but at least we have a supply tower here. This is just kind of dark. Don't take... Don't get hit by the rockets. That is overkill. Okay, weapon crate and light ballistic ammo. So far, so good. Weapon crate. Over that, sure. Okay, we're doing much better than the last round at the very least. What the hell? That's a new enemy type I haven't seen before. Oh, they are actually hitting me. Weirdly enough, actually kind of dangerous. Okay, and then there was just this guy. There he goes. And we have one yellow item. I'll take it. A die hask. Let's get rid of the turtle arm. I don't think we need it. Okay, do we stick it out? I think we do. There's whatever this question mark is over here. And I want to see what that is. There's a Belladine. That actually seems kind of cool. So, ooh. And that other one is just a... Uh, Another generator with very high heat capacity, but the slowest 
possible. I did I get all of them? I did. Did take a little bit of damage from it, but it's fine. Okay, there he goes. Don't take the damage. If I can avoid it. There we go. Yeah, I'm not... S it's probably worth it. I haven't been... Oh, first check-in. Huh. Have I been ignoring my handler this entire time? I might have been. Okay. Anything. Old medium ballistic ammo is nice. Enemy intel. Ooh. Well, didn't, we don't need that. Oh. Can use it right now. Yeah, ghrelin. Additional shoulder armor. Nah. Let's just get rid of the heat sink. We don't need it. I shouldn't have been modifying my tier, tier 2 weapons. That was actually kind of pointless of me. But I think it's fine. Let's get out of here. Hopefully we'll find a different weapon for my pistol, though I could also just unequip it and switch to something else. It is fun watching their feet try and cope. Okay. So what do we got? Torso module is kind of tempting. I don't know if we're going to be able to use it. Uh, yeah, let's modify, transfer. We got some stuff. Okay, I don't like that. Could go for the cargo mo- Wait, why would I go for the cargo module? We're almost done. So we have a con bar. Slow moving rockets. Con bar as well. Nothing there. It's the exact same torso. We never found better legs. Oh, but you know what we do have? A weaker com bar and a smokestack. Massive explosive shot. Big damage, big ammo efficiency. Decrypt that. Okay, so I don't have that much money on me. Which is a little unfortunate. So what else do we have? Because I do have the Squall. Sacrifice. I've got a ton of ammo. I might want to take a look at the black market. Barrel bomb. Rapidly fires arcing explosive shots. There's the Belladine. Wait, don't I have a Belladine? I do. Okay, well, this is our last round. So I think what we do is we... Do we ditch the Brewer? Oh. Oh, I can't. Because it has to be a shoulder slot. Which we don't have any available. That's why I can't use it. What about you? Front runner. Rocket assisted dash. Very fast. The rent rentalies seem kind of tempting. I think let's go back to the porter. Let's withdraw the dagger. Because, yeah, the, the slug ain't 
The slug and the dagger are virtually kind of the same thing. We could also take out Hella Loans. Okay, so that gives us some options. Let's go back to the black market. Uh, it won't let me, actually. Well, that slightly sucks. Heavy le legs built on blades of wheels. Stores up power for bursts of speed. Rocket for sustained boots. Lightweight, speed boost, fast, fast dash. I mean, this one seems just better. Yeah, it won't let me go back for reasons. Slug in some other things. I mean, I could go for the squall. Let's make sure we have everything else sorted first. Okay, legs, transfer parts, funny wheels. Next up, inventory space. Yeah, we need a lot of ammo. Okay, let's just transfer that to the depot. I think what we want to do is actually just buy a shit ton of ammo. More than anything else. Let's see, heavy ballistics. And medium. And more medium. Okay. So that gives us a decent amount. We've got that there. Yeah, that should work. Okay, so let's go back to the scrapyard. Interesting. They actually have a T3 version of the groundskeeper. I don't think any of these are worth it. Though. Okay, so let's get rid of that destroyer torso. Do we want to get rid of the con bar? I think so. We don't need the cargo module. We don't need my old legs. Okay, go back to marketplace, munitions vendor. Oh, right. We should probably figure out repairs. Let's see, use between missions. So we can actually sell those as well. Okay, marketplace munitions. Sell both of these. And screw it, I'm just gonna buy that. All right, resistance, I guess I could have done a thing. Grab some of that. It should have laid lower or whatever, but whatever, we're, we're going in the, into this hot. Let's take a look. So I have a silly amount of ammo. I guess the one thing I could... Oh no, Belladine is shoulder mounted. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to replace this even if I wanted to. Alright, let's just deploy. Final mission, let's go. Deliver the package. I think I'm just gonna hide in here. Because at least here I have some allies. Look, if I have to fight all of these guys, we might as well... We might as well take it kind of slow. And careful. And yeah, my pistol works wonders for this. Ooh, I dig these wheels.
Okay, did take some damage from that. Don't do that again. Okay, so we've got a bunch of these little spider boys. And as much as I like the idea of having a torso with built-in guns, I think I'm gonna pass on it in the future. Oh, you can just run those guys over, sick. Okay, Phoenix. Seems neat, but... Got him. The beauty of having functionally infinite ammo for a round. Okay, there they go. That ain't the fortress. Like, I guess I'll grab the heavy ballistic ammo. But none of this stuff matters. Destroy facility, destroy... Where is your fortress? Must be this way. Yeah, they're trying to lead shots. Which... I mean, is fine. I don't really trust those. Okay. Stay away from that. Avoid. Oh boy. Wait, a spider walker? That's new. Okay, don't want to get blown up. Okay, medium ballistic ammo. Some enemy intel. None of this helps. Here we're at maximum threat value. Which is fine. Okay. I was not expecting this to go on as quite as long as it did. But I'm having a good time with it. I'm just... Final mission is uh, cruising. This seems to be the place. My hand is a claw. Oh, there it is. Okay. Can I actually hit the main building? How do I deliver the package? Oh, okay, Fortress is dead. I 
can jump, but not that well. Is this where the package goes? Package has now been delivered. Nope, I'm trapped in here. Piss. It says survive the detonation. Oh, I've survived the detonation, okay. That kill me. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, that's one way to end a run. What a great demo! So I might as well mention that the demo is available uh, on Steam right now. So if you guys want to play it yourselves, just follow the link in the description below, and you too can try out Grandveer, try out different builds, try out different gear types, uh, try out different strategies, get better stuff. Don't run off a bridge and die in a pit. Uh, I face palm moment i know but whatever it's a good way to end it it's not like i actually care about winning or losing especially because once again it is a demo whatever kind of progress or progression systems or unlocks there are just probably aren't going to even carry over into the full version of the game and so it's kind of like eh, it's fine anyway so with all of this said if you like this video in any way shape or form leave me a like helps more than you know and if you want to see more rad new games every single day then hit subscribe because i got tons to check out and show off but for now thanks for watching i'll see you next time